So, uh, yeah, I don't have any like, slides or something, so I just want to share some uh, work uh, and progress I'm doing about RPM databases. So, my name is Igor from Facebook, uh, and among the other things, I'm working on testing experimental uh, RPM databases. So, short background. Uh, what, what's basically the problem? Uh, you know, like a sentence on how you use uh, uh, RPM under the hood, like DNF and uh, YAM, just sort of wrappers around RPM. And then, um, like the problem is, uh, RPM uses the database to store like, data of installed packages on the host. And this database gets corrupted sometimes. Why? Well, in our case, we use Chef to like, manage all these like, packages, to install packages, uh, upgrade packages, remove packages, all stuff like that. So, but we have some like restrictions and uh, like on uh, the time, how long uh, Chef runs should take, and because of these restrictions. What we uh, like should do, we, we just like need to restrict how long each like young operation uh, takes. So, and in case if this operation ends out, what Chef does, it just kills the process. And um, it's one of the problems. Another one is PerfectDB itself. So, uh, it basically maps the like, pages into memory. And if you have several running processes at the same time, so for example, user can just like do RPM QA and well, you can get database corrupted. So what we do now is especially like usually it's like very short operation and usually it's not happening. But if you have host Real load, especially if uh, disk IO is too high on this host, these operations take long time, and basically like, the chance of like, getting this database corrupted like, getting higher. So what we do now, uh, we have a special tool, DCRPM, so it's open source. It's in, it's on the GitHub, so you can download it. So what it does, uh, it just checks the database. And if it's corrupted, it tries to repair it. So it basically uh, builds indexes, uh, builds uh, the database itself, and things like that. Um, what we are trying to do here is we want to try to change the backend from PerfectDB to something else. There are two experimental backends uh, supported by RPM since uh, 414, as far as I remember. So one is NDB and the other one is LMD. Uh, how we use, like how we test that, that these two um, databases find. So first of all, we try to do some uh, like stress tests. Uh, what we try to do is just uh, run RPM in infinite loop and like randomly kill it. Uh, I did this like many times and uh, I restricted uh, using C groups, I restricted the uh, speed of the uh, like disk for this process to like make sure that like workload is sort of the same as like on the problem machine. So I managed to reproduce this many times for BerkeleyDB, but for NDB and the LMDB, I never like, got this database corrupted, which is good. And the next method we use right now, so uh, I, like, I changed the database format on a thousand of machines in our feed. And uh, I use several metrics to make sure that everything we can find. So one metric is how many machines have database broken. Since uh, this RPM doesn't fix RPM, well, I mean RPM DB on these machines because it's only for DB, um, I can see, all right, I have 
number of hosts with broken database. So far, we don't have any machines with broken database. I mean, from these like alternative ones. Uh, my expectation, we would have about like 7.5% of hosts switch to this, but these new databases, experimental databases, if they were running BDB. And um, yeah, the second metric I use is read timeout. So uh, as I said, like we use Chef to manipulate with the database, and I mean RPM. So um, what Chef does when it runs, like it starts running, it collects different like stuff from the system, and one of these uh, like not metric, but basically uh, one of these things uh, it collects is a list of RPMs. So what happens is uh, if the RPM QA, it basically runs a paint under the hood, and if it times out, then it basically fails. So we have some failures. Uh, with these experimental databases. Usually it's because of, not usually, always, it's because of uh, like how loaded machine and not like because of the database is broken. So this problem is not gone, but the main like idea is we want to get rid of database corruptions. And as far as I can see, both of these databases and DB and the long DB like, allows us to like, get rid of these corruptions and yeah, systems work. The only issue so far I found is, well, it's not the issue, but uh, so LMDB has two files. One is database itself and another one <coughs> database for box. And by default, uh, when you uh, convert the database from BDB to LMDB, it uh, like converts, so the both files uh, belong to root and only root allowed to read and write. Or actually, everyone allowed to read, but only root allowed to write to these files. For database itself, it's fine, but for logs, it's not. So uh, for some reason, I don't know why, uh, RPM, when you run even like query to the database, uh, it tries to acquire the log and this version fails because uh, RPM cannot write this log file. So if you change the uh, permissions to this file, it starts working, but yeah, this is the only issue I found so far. Yeah. This. Any questions? Thank you.